Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with a new secret series for you on the fluff of a Ficio Assassinorum. Yes, it is pronounced a Ficio if you're speaking Latin. If you're speaking English, it can be whatever the fuck you want. But if you want to say it in Latin, it's a Ficio Assassinorum. Now, Let's go into the, the fluff on it from their latest data slate. And a little quote. Thought begets heresy. Heresy begets retribution. By Anonymous. The Imperial Assassins are the hidden blades wielded by the High Lords of Terra. They are the slayers of kings and false messiahs the banes of traitors and rebels across the stars. Once an agent has been dispatched, he is as relentless and inescapable as the march of time itself. Every facet of his implacable training is turned to the business of a single kill. Though the temples of Aficio Assassinorum are shrouded in the utmost secrecy, all men of influence fear the shadows they cast. For the operatives are the emperor's justice made real. Wow. You better tell the Arbites that because uh, here I've been hearing they've been saying they're the emperor's justice made real. But I guess it's actually the assassins. <clears throat> in the realm, in a realm, the size and scope of the Imperium. It is all too common for planets to escape the vigil of the High Lords. With communication and travel at the mercy of the warp's shifting tides, a populace can go for 10, 20, even 100 years without being contacted by the wider Imperium. It is a fragile system indeed, and given the crushing grind of Imperial life, one that has seen many worlds fall into the thrall of heresy. Left to fend for themselves against a hostile galaxy, it is easy for a planet's citizenry to harbor seeds of corruption. A world may fall prey, may, sorry, fail to pay its tithes, allow its psyker containment routines to go to slip, or come under the rule of an unsanctioned government. Some simply crave independence away from the dictates of the administratum, the ecclesiarchy, and a galaxy ruled by twelve faceless figures in the name of a distant emperor. Regardless of whether the new order is benevolent or tyrannical, its orchestrators make themselves target of the most violent of retributions. Though their government may thrive in the short term, word will eventually reach the adepts of the Imperium of their disobedience. Sometimes the resultant confrontation leads to open war, but it is just as often resolved by covert means. Coercion, bribery, threats, blackmail, and murder are all weapons in the armory of those whose iron grip defines the realm of man. To this end, the Imperium has developed several institutions to exploit these weapons to their fullest. Ancient organizations that trace their history back to the Great Crusade and to the very birth of the Imperium. One such organization is the Officio Assassinorum. The assassins of the Imperium are able to change the fates of worlds with a pull of a single trigger. Where the length of the Emperor's reach needs to be made abundantly clear. A Vindicar assassin will put a bullet in the target's head whilst the errant individual is surrounded by his followers. If the traitorous creed has spread to an entire organization or military force, an Eversor will instead be set loose, a bio-enhanced berserker that will slaughter dozens if not hundreds of rebels alongside the key individual he has been sent to slay. Should the deed require more subtlety, 
An operative from the Calidus Temple will instead be dispatched. In such cases, it is all but impossible to detect the presence of these shape-shifting assassins until the deed is done. If the target is a psyker, one of the rare and fearsome Calexis will be sent to hunt them down. Beings with a strange void in place of a soul that makes them the bane of all who treat with the warp. The weapons of the assassins range from simple knives and garrots to exotic neural shredders and phase swords that can cut through armor and force field alike. Even barehanded, these operatives are lethal foes. Each is trained extensively in unarmed combat and is more than capable of fighting their way free from the mayhem that ensues from their kill. Returning to their masters, they are extensively debriefed and examined before being given a new mark and mission to accomplish. In this way, each assassin is locked in a constant cycle of headhunting that spans the breadth of the Imperium, reforging the fragile change of Imperial rule even as the time of ending breaks them apart. Ha 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 ha! And now next, we will talk about, what is it called? The Emperor's Knives. And that will be in part two of Officio Assassinorum. Until then, get the fuck out of here! I mean, bye! Mm-hmm.